What's up guys, MC Stu here, and today we're going to talk about ship mastery and how to unlock your uh, ship mastery as quickly as possible. Um, so if you're new to the game, when you get a tier 6 ship or a tier 5 ship, you are going to have a mastery um, associated with that ship. So on tier 5s, um, you would have the first four. On a tier 6, these are, um, yeah, tier 6. On the fifth one here, you would have a starship trait that you would unlock that you can use on your character. And so what happens is as you play the ship, um, you'll unlock each of these tiers. Each one is going to give you different perks. So on this particular ship, we're getting accuracy. We are getting critical severity. We're getting critical chance and we are also getting kinetic and energy damage and then the starship trait would be the last one so in the past what we would do is set up the ship and uh, go and play and you can certainly do that if you're not in any kind of hurry to unlock the ship um, depending on what you're doing you know certain ships science ships you'll have you know benefits for science stuff uh, some that are engineering ships or you know would be more tanky you would get resistance things like that um, and so these stats can really help uh, not to mention obviously if it's a starship trait that you need um, you know you want to get that unlocked as quickly as possible so you can just play the game and you'll earn these you can run tfos and you'll earn these points as well these ship mastery experience points um, but tfos uh, it, it can take quite a while i mean you can run you know three to you know 10 at least and and still not potentially have this completely unlocked um so there are some ways that um you can go about doing this quicker um there's two ways to do it both of them are going to revolve around running patrols um so what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate that here um so my recommendation is you know whatever your build is um use what you got but if you have something that is going to be a multi-target um, ship, something that's going to attack multiple ships at once, um, then you're going to do a lot better and this is going to go a lot quicker for you. Uh, so fire at will, um, cannon scatter volley, uh, or even your science stuff where you have those area of effects and controls are going to be uh, useful and helpful for this process as well. Um, so the other reason that you may want to go through and do something like this quick as a quick example is on my main account i've been working on setting up a um a support character and i decided to do it on a different one from where i was originally going to do it and that character was a science character it's the class but ran a tort build and so i didn't have any of the traits that i needed in order to put together this support build unlocked on that character so last night i spent you know a, a couple hours you know putting the build together and i needed to unlock like five different ships um, and i was able to do that all within last night without it relatively taking very long just waiting for cooldowns every now and then on um on some of the patrols that uh that that we use um so you know if you're putting together you know maybe you've been playing the game for a while you're rolling a new tune and you know you're getting it up to max level and you're wanting to put together builds you have ships you can claim um but it's this daunting task to unlock all of these different starship traits this is perfect for for someone like you um so Let's take a look at the uh, the patrols that um, that I generally use, and uh, if you guys have some suggestions for that, um, I would I would definitely appreciate it. Um, that, that's always helpful. You know, we can get that extra info. Um, so we'll take a look at the patrols, um, and then we'll also take a look at what we're wanting to do in terms of difficulty. So if your character is not real. Um, I don't know, it doesn't have a lot of resources, so you don't have lobby stuff and all those kinds of things. And I did this one on my free-to-play. I only have, I think, one lobby console on this character, um, so they don't have a ton of stuff. Um, you can just turn the difficulty level down, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it on uh, on the easy mode and go in, and, and you're going to see that we're able to um, unlock a ship in either one pass or, or two passes in a patrol very, very quickly. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the patrols here that... I tend to use, and I know that there, there's, there's many of them um, that uh, I've gotten some suggestions, and it, it came up in Discord, which is partially why, why I'm making this video here. Um, so if we go to our Task Force Operation tab, and we click on Patrol, the two that I normally use are going to be the ninth rule. So I'll run this first. Normally, I can unlock a ship. Um, with just run, one run through on advanced um, so you don't need to go elite um, but generally one run run through no problem um, the only time i run into an issue is like if i die or something like that because what's happening is these tfos are time gated and so 
regardless of how many, like at the end, you get wave after wave after wave. Well, they just keep coming until that time gate ends. So the more things that you can kill, the more points you're going to get. So if you die a couple times or something like that, you're not going to kill as many ships because you're not going to get as many waves. And you may have to move on and do do one more to finish it off. Um, so I use uh, the ninth rule. And then I also use um, Wanted Argala. And I always, I always want to call it Argala, so I never find it in the list. So that's this other one here. This one I'll normally use to just kind of finish it off. Um, there's not a ton of waves here, but it's a good one just to kind of finish it. It's fun to do as well. Uh, a little more flying around than what you would have on the ninth rule. Uh, but both of these take a couple minutes to complete. And so you literally could have a ship unlocked within a couple minutes doing this. Um, so again, I know some of these other ones are good. Any of them that end with or have a you know a, where you just have waves coming in at some point um, that's really where um, where you're able to kind of grind these points out real quick so let's go ahead and jump into one and demonstrate uh, this and um, we'll see if we can get it done in just one go uh, so let's go ahead and jump in so and if I were to run say like an ISA um, I would most likely not even unlock the first tier with, with an ISA run um, all right, ninth rule. I don't know why I closed the window a moment ago. Oh, let's make sure our difficulty level is set. I want to put this on easy because th this is something that anybody can do on any level. So uh, we're going to put it on normal. So what you want to do, if you're comfortable on advanced, if you have a pretty you know flushed out build um, that you're using on another ship, um, like for instance, back to my example last night when I was unlocking all those ships. So it was a torpedo main um, that I was switching over to support. I had done some cannon stuff on that character before. Um, so what I did is I just, I put literally the same build on all of these ships. And, and these ships, some of them were not suited for cannon builds, right? Um, one of them wouldn't even slot cannon, so I did a fire at will build on it. Ran them on easy. Um, so you don't have to do anything special if you're just trying to grind through ships to unlock the traits. If you're trying to unlock your ship that you know you've just got or you're working on, put the build on it that you like. Run through a couple of these patrols, even if it takes you two or three. I mean, you're talking, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes maximum. The ship's fully unlocked, and then you can go ahead and move forward. Um, all right, so we are on normal. Let's make sure that's saved, and then let's go ahead and jump into the patrol here. Ninth rule. Looks like there was a fight. All right. So the beginning of this one, there you just have the the three groups. Um, so that just it is what it is. Um, getting through this part doesn't really make a big difference. Regardless, you're going to get these these hit points anyways. Um, so just uh, get through the beginning here, and the main thing that's going to really pay off for us is going to be the uh, the groups or the waves that come in the end and supply us a huge amount of hit points that we can take. And I'm just going to leave the mic on here. We'll just kind of talk through it. So hopefully my um, my keyboard isn't too loud. Okay, just hit the second group. And hopefully I don't die and embarrass myself. But that does happen. I, I die fairly often, especially on new tunes or, you know, new things that I'm trying out. It's just part of the game, so it makes it fun. Something to lose, right? Although, in this instance, it would be having to move to another tune, claim another ship that I don't have unlocked, and remake the video. <laughs> There's more on the line. All right, here we go. So, we're going to go ahead and move on to the third group, and then we'll get in position for the waves here at the end. And uh, that'll be sweet if we can get this uh, this bad boy unlocked with just one go here on normal mode. Cannon scatter volley is probably the best for this, I think. Um, Fire at will is going to be the next, um, you know, for your more beginner players. Um, it's most likely you're not going to have access to, you know, full on. Uh, torpedo and, and science builds and those kinds of things yet. Um, but if you are, you know, more at, at that in-game level and you're moving over and making new tunes or maybe reorganizing a tune to do something different, um, 
and just throw the best multi-target build that will fit on a particular ship um, that you need the trait for and uh, you'll be able to unlock it here real quick all right so we're going to get in position here for the last wave i'm moving around the back of it here so i can get in flanking position all right and we're just going to sit here and farm the enemy now these guys, um, ninth rule is kind of a luck of the draw, because these guys have that viral impulse where they can send you just flying around the map, and I don't have engineering team on here, so I don't have a counter for that, so if these guys don't die quickly, um, I'll end up in kind of a bad spot, because it'll shoot me across the map, and we'll lose out on time where we could be destroying the enemy here, and uh, picking up um, these uh, these hit points here to get the, uh, the mastery points, so, um, and looks like I just got hit with one. Yeah, so the um, this particular one, you can get a number of different uh, enemies to uh, to fight in here, and you never know what what you're gonna get. So that's something that'll you know play into it to where if maybe you have to run wanted after or something like that. If you're able to run it on advance, um, I feel like you get more points for that. Um, maybe because each of the enemies have more hit points. Um, so, I mean, if you're just, you know, if you have developed equipment and gear and resources, then that might make sense because then, you know, there's, you can get through just about the same amount of waves, um, but each one has more hit points. So even if you get through a wave or, or two less, you're still getting more overall hit points that you're taking from the enemy. Um, I believe that's the way it works. Um, running it on easy mode like this, on normal, um, each enemy has less hit points but you're getting a lot more of them coming in because this is just time gated so as soon as i kill a wave the next wave immediately warps in a little delay there this build isn't anything super special here this is just something i kind of threw together real quick this is actually a tanking character i have on my free-to-play uh account um don't copy this i mean it works but um if I spent more time, you know, flushing this out to put together, you know, a super good build, it would look a little different from that. But th this is what I'm doing, just in case you're uh, interested. It's uh, uh, Polaron um, Cannon using the uh, the Morphogenic set, um, along with a couple other two pieces and stuff. So just kind of threw it together there. But on a normal mode, I mean, as long as you're sticking to the basics, all your stuff matches. You're using, you know, all matching. Um, um, tactical stuff, you know, so let's say you're using Polaron or let's say you're using Phaser, you're using, you know, all Phaser tactical things and your, your, your build synergizing, you followed, you know, some of the basic guides that I've put out on normal mode, beam, uh, beam fire at will, cannon scatter volley, you'll be able to, to move through this pretty, pretty easily here. So let's go ahead and depart the system and see how well we did. So the mastery is not going to show up until we leave. Once we leave, it will give us the points. So let's uh, let's see how how we did. All right, so we got some unlocked. The question is, did we get them all? All right, moment of truth. We did. So we fully unlocked a ship in what was that? Four or five minutes. That's not bad. Um, so that's the way to uh, to unlock a ship real, real quick. Um, so there, there is another way to do this as well. And unfortunately, right now, I don't have anyone that can run me through this. But this is going to be more for your advanced users. So we would do basically the exact same thing um, that we just did, except we would go in with a team. And um, with that, we would go probably at least advanced. And when I say a team, just one other person. So let's say I'm unlocking, I need to unlock a bunch of traits from ships. Um, and like last night, I, I, I spent time setting each ship up because um, I, I didn't have anybody online that would run with me for that purpose um, at the time. I didn't want to bug anybody. Um, but had I had already been you know running with some friends or someone was available, what I could have done instead of setting each of those ships up is I could have taken the ship stock as it comes, leaving just the stock weapons, no consoles, no nothing, being in a team with one, you know, one other person that has, you know, a good build and going in with them and 
putting a couple shots in and that teammate is basically taking care of everything because what's going to happen is you're going to you're you're, you're going to share all of those points and so i've done this quite a few times where um we do just that i go in say like with nick mb i just have a stock ship i just need the trade i'm not trying to you know spend 20 minutes setting it up and i got more to move through um, we'll go on a private team we'll both launch into the patrol so when you do that if you don't know you just have to be on a team and then both you individually launch to the same patrol you'll both show up in that patrol that's how you do a patrol together it's a little bit different than the T uh, uh, tfos um and then nick goes to town just destroying everything i'm trying to keep up because my ship's 100 stock i'm just getting a couple hits in and everything's destroyed just like we just did um and then we leave and boom i've unlocked a ship completely without having to do anything it's kind of an exploit i guess um but it's really just a time exploit, right? Um, and I don't feel bad about it with the way that, you know, Cryptic has their model where, you know, a lot of times we're buying ships for the traits and all these different kinds of things. So I don't have any issue with, with doing something like that. Um, but, you know, if, if you have a buddy or two that, that you can do that with, you can unlock four or five ships in 20, 30 minutes. I mean, it, it would be really, really quick. So you're not having to spend all that time setting up each ship and, you know, configuring your, your, your clicky bar and your spam bar and all that other kind of thing. Um, so that, that is the other way um, to go about doing it. Um, and again, that would be more for your end, end gamer um, and you're doing some specific stuff. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking to, right? So I mean, that, that that's how you'd go about and what would make sense in, uh, in doing it that way. But for everybody else, what I just demonstrated would be the way to do it. Set up a build that you like, go in, run a patrol or two, have a good time, unlock that ship, and then move on with your day. All right, guys, well, I think that covers it all. Um, if you have questions, comments, anything like that, throw those down in uh, in the comment section there. I, I, I appreciate that, and I do my best to answer and get back to everybody. Uh, check out the Discord server. Link will be down in the description. Great community in there. If you have questions or you know, you're looking for someone to run you through maybe one of these um, these patrols, I probably should have hit that up last night. But again, like I said, I just didn't want to bother anybody. But um, everyone that has subbed is part of the community. Uh, as always, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, if this was helpful to you, please consider um, subbing to the channel. Give me a thumbs up, ring the bell. Um, I, I would really appreciate that as well. If you're interested in a good build for this ship that I uh, featured here in this video, uh, check out uh, this video that's popping up right now. This is a very good torpedo build for this ship. Also, if you missed last week's video, take a look at the one that we did on specializations, and that is popping up right now as well. Until next time, guys, have a good one. Stay safe, and thank you for watching.